Welcome back. In this training module, let's review nitrogen gas lifting with coiled tubing. The objective of this module is to provide a general understanding on gas lifting with coiled tubing. And the following subjects will be covered, why we would need gas lift. Well bore pressures. Gas lift applications. Basic procedures for gas lift operations. Gas lifting variables. Nitrogen rate optimization. So, why we need gas lift? If bottom hole well bore pressure is currently greater than the reservoir pressure, the fluid hydrostatic pressure will prevent the reservoir flow. Let's discuss well bore pressure relationships. There are three scenarios of well bore pressure relationships. The first scenario called overbalanced. Where the pressure inside a well bore is greater than reservoir pressure, normally occurs when we drilling a well. The second scenario called underbalanced. Where the pressure inside a well bore is less than the reservoir pressure, normally occurring when we producing the well. The third scenario is called balanced. Where the pressure inside a well bore is equal to reservoir pressure. This chart shows an example of well bore pressure relationships. If we have reservoir pressure is 3500 psi. The well will be overbalanced if well bore pressure is 4000 psi. The well will be balanced if the well bore pressure is 3500 psi. And the well is underbalanced if the well bore pressure is 3000 psi. Let's review gas lift applications. There are two gas lift applications. The first application is well kickoff. We can recover fluids from the formation. We can initiate the well to flow on its own. The second application is well unloading. We can reduce the height of fluid in the well bore. We can lower the bottom hole pressure to a specified value. We can have a nitrogen cushion. Let's review the purpose of well kickoff application. To recover fluid after a well kill operation. To recover fluid after an acid stimulation operation. To artificially produce the well for evaluation purposes. Reinstate well that has killed itself. Let's review well kickoff procedures. We need to ensure that coiled tubing pressure is stabilized prior to entering fluid top. Slight continuous increase in coiled tubing real pressure will be observed while entering fluid in the well. We need to pump nitrogen at stabilized rate. Then continue run and hold to unloading depth. We need to take returns with minimal or no back pressure. Back pressure may be required to maintain a minimum drawdown. Please check with the reservoir team. During the well kickoff procedure, we need to pay attention for those scenarios. If lost returns, we need to stop coiled tubing and pull up until returns are re-established. When the final unloading depth has been reached, an assessment must be made as to how long to continue pumping nitrogen through the coiled tubing. This may be based on one or more of the following, amount of fluid unloaded to this point, bottoms up time, response from the well. Finally, start pulling out of hole while circulating at minimum nitrogen rate. Required parameters for gas lift operations are, bottom hole pressure, expected fluid, volumes, fluid properties, downhole restrictions and fluid loss to formation. Variables that affect gas lifting operations are tubular size, well depth, fluid top depth, bottom hole pressure, bottom hole temperature, fluid properties, coiled tubing size, coiled tubing run and hole rate, nitrogen pump rate, and surface equipment back pressure. This chart shows an example of optimizing nitrogen gas rate. The blue line is optimized until it reaches its peak. Eventually if we pump nitrogen too fast, the wellhead pressure starts to decrease, even losing returns. The pink line represents larger coiled tubing size, increasing annular friction. This chart shows an example of nitrogen rate, liquid unloading rate with different completion size. Completion A has smaller ID than completion B. Hence, completion A has more friction than completion B. Completion A has a maximum fluid return rate of around 1.4 barrel per minute, regardless of how much nitrogen is being pumped. This is due to tighter annular clearance, creating more back pressure on the reservoir, 